colorectal cancer is a very heterogeneous disease. Uh, in my opinion, it's like the poster child for individualized medicine because even though we think of colorectal cancer as one entity, even the left side of the colon behaves differently uh, than the right side of the colon. Mutations also factor into play, uh, including the age as well as other uh, characteristics that are unique to each patient's tumor and to the each, uh, each patient who is diagnosed with the cancer. Uh, so treatment options for advanced colorectal cancer, uh, for the ones that we are trying to cure, uh, we have to differentiate uh, if the patients have truly widespread metastatic cancer or this uh, term called oligo metastatic, oligo meaning few. Because there are, these are the patients where with multidisciplinary care, uh, so for example, if somebody only has a few metastases in the liver or a few metastases in the lung, uh, these are patients where obviously we start off with chemotherapy first, but uh, if, if indeed they have these few spots, the, we can uh, collaborate with our colleagues in liver surgery as well as uh, lung surgery if needed and uh, take the primary uh, tumor out as well as take the metastases out and give them the best chance of cure. So that is uh, one uh, subset of patients where it's important to differentiate and that's where the multidisciplinary uh, plan of care initially at some of our tumor board discussions come into play. Uh, beyond that, when we talk about metastatic colorectal cancer in general, um, in terms of individualizing care based on the tumor, uh, the mutations that are important are in what we call the RAS or the RAF pathway. Uh, the mutations render some therapies as ineffective. Uh, there are certain treatments that would work better if you don't have some mutations. Uh, interestingly, like I was talking earlier, even the side of the uh, colon makes a difference based on how it is derived embryologically.